So, we're introduced to a, a completely new variety. Oyev versus Shafa. Even though we observe Ur all the time, yet we have very little understanding of its significance. Or versus Shefa, we still need to say or versus Shefa. Yeah. Okay, that's what you just said. Yeah. We still need to, okay, in that. Shefa, we have an understanding, the experience all the time. We pointed out that oil is, is, is very different. The first thing that we're pointing out is, so to speak, the shortcoming of Oyer. Shefa, you are transmitting, you are giving some, something of substance to the extent that the recipient can then further go and develop it. You've got something to work with. And it's not dependent on you to continuously maintain it. Oir is literally only Haor. Even though we said that Shefa is also Haor, but we said in Shefa there's a Haor, the Haor is really bringing along the, the Mahus. As we said, yes, you teach a Seichel, which is a Haor of the Rab Seichel, but it's a real Paseko by the Talmud. And he can then go independently, examine it, and, and develop it. In Ha'orah, in Oyer, there is none of that. There is only Ha'orah. Only a reflection of the, of the, of the, that which, which the Moyer has. Should the Moyer uh, uh, go away, then you have nothing left. This is that it's a ha'orah levad. She ain't boy, right on top of the page. Ain't boy me no in which there is none, no aspect of et, of et. We, we're not going to go back to this one, yes, one, in order to understand what. We have to the next section, uh, section actually. But I just want to reiterate and review this so that we focus in and we know what we're talking about. So we are in second second paragraph. We are going to be in the second paragraph. I read a couple of, uh, just a line on top, so that we we orient ourselves. What are we talking about? Oil. One illustration of oil is like the sunlight. So all those sunlight in the presence of sun brightens up, but if the sun should be obscured, there is nothing left. It's not oh, a someone gift. Someone asked for the confidence. Quote. What? Someone asked for the confidence. Send them this link. And who he doesn't have Google Meet. Uh. I'm going to tell him to call the number inside the video link. That should help him. Like, he doesn't need to have a, a data plan. He can just call the number in the link. Okay. The, in, oh, okay, then can we go? This was a whole, uh, the whole top section is to point out that in, in Oyer there is none of the Moyer. There is only Haor. Therefore it would, mean, it would seem, it would be that the one who receives the Oyer is, is really shortchanged. He's got nothing 
of substance. And in fact, he cannot go and develop the union of the oil on his own if the moil, if the if there is no moil at the other same time. And now we come into the second section. This is where we're up to him and we started struggling with this. Omnom, however, in truth, the word omnom is a, is a, has a double implication, dual meaning. Omnom means however, but omnom means also in truth. In truth is implying that there is something deeper than what we were privy to before. Before we said in the oil there is there is no substance, nothing is given. But in truth, there is something very special. Yesh Milo, you say the oil Gabi There is in fact a superior and additional Milo, a superiority of oil relative to Shef. Despite the fact that in oil there is only, it's only Haor, and there is nothing that the, that the that the recipient can work with independently. And yet, what he's getting is something greater than even what he gets in Shef. What is that? Shehoir hu me'en hamoir. That what is, what is given is something of, of phenomenal quality. It is me'en hamoir. It is exactly what the moir itself is. Me'en hamoir. And we explained the word ain the other day and so forth. Oir me'en hamoir means that when the moir produces oir, it is the oir is not translated from what it itself is into a state of, of hashpo, into a state of, of, of into, into, into an external state. There's no retranslation in, 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 uh, in this oil. It is me'en ha'moyer, it is exactly as it is with the moyer. And one more one more statement, one more yeah. sentence, <coughs> phrase that would bring this home. I'd like it. You should try to 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 discern the significance of this. The reason that the moir and the manner in which the moir can produce this oil, it is presenting itself. It is not presenting oil. It is presenting itself, and that that is what oil of the moir is. Me'en hamoir. It is from the. I said the oil from the from the. It is of the of the presence of the eye of the light of the of the of the moir itself. Let's go to the next line. Okay, we are on top of the top line of the second section. At the end of that, Okmoy as an example, Oy Vaziv Hashem, as the light and the shine of the Shemesh. Harei Hu Mein Hashem. This light and the shine from the Shemesh, what does it stand, what does it represent? It is Mein Hashem. It is of the quality and of the brightness and of the beauty of the Shemesh Shuhobohir, Shuhobihiri. That the Shemesh is Bihiri. Bihiri means it is it is a bright entity. The oil that is produced by the by the Shemesh is exactly what the Shemesh itself is. This is why the oil is mayor. The oil is mayor means it illuminates. The oil is mayor not because it 
acts in, in terms of in bringing up in in affecting behaviors. It is mayor because it is representative of the shemesh itself. Just as the shemesh is mayor, the oyer is mayor. Can I ask a question? No, no, just a minute. What does this mean? Velochein ho'er meir. Please, let's make sense of this. What is the Rebbe saying? The oil is bihiri, just as the Shemesh is bihiri. So what's Velochein ho'er meir? It's meir because what it is, what it is. Not because it's me'en ha'moir. It's may be by by the virtue of what, what it itself is. But the Rabbi is saying now. It is main hamoy and the shemesh is behiri elochein ho air moir. Because the air is deflective of the shemesh. What is what's what's what is this point? The air is made because of its own quality. It is behiri. Nothing to do with the fact that it that it is Ma'in Hamoir. And yet if you read carefully what the Rabbi is saying, because it is reflective of what the Shemesh itself is, this is why they is Mayr. Not because of what Oyer is. In other words, if we should Kind of imagine the be oil which is not main hamoyer, it would not be mayor. Even though it would be oil. Let us try and, and, and so to speak and put some some sense into this. What's the exact translation of the word maybe? Shines. That's exact translation. In French, in Turkish, in any language. It's not like equals and is. What? It's not like equals and is. It's different. <laughs> Can I ask a question now? Yes, go ahead. Okay. You used the word a few moments, a few minutes ago, illuminates. <clears throat> I'm not sure whether you used it about the, about the sound <coughs> or the Z. It illuminates. So, could you explain <coughs> what you mean by that word illuminates? Not meaning that it makes it possible to see things in a practical sense. <coughs> correct. Correct. Is that correct? Correct. It does not mean that. So then, what normally we think that the word illuminates. Okay, Baruch, you got your question. That's exactly what we're we up to. Lochain Ho'ir Mayer. So you're going to explain what illuminates does mean, as opposed to what it doesn't. Lochein ho'er meir. The air is meir because it is main Hashem. How is the fact that it's main Hashem assist the oil that it should be meir? The oil is meir because of what oil is. saying the whole time. If if the Shemesh is a mechanism that gives out light, then the Ha'ara can't be like the Shemesh, because that's not a mechanism that gives out light. But if the Shemesh alone is is light, so then the Ha'ara is also light. Yeah, but what is the meaning of the word Lochein Ha'ir Meir? Lochein, because of its proximity, because of its relationship to the Shemesh, this is why it's Meir. Why is that necessary? Mm-hmm. 
So before we go on, I want that we should understand, see that there is something in these words, something that is eluding us. Eluding us. What is Rebbe talking about? The whole world interprets light as a beam of energy that is deflected from an object and then as it is deflected it hits your eye and then the eye is sensitive to it and then your brain translates what the eye is telling it. That's the whole phenomenon of sight according to the wise men of hell. <laughs> Yet, in the words of the Rebbe, you go back to the bottom of the previous section, but there's an expression with here, Habayis Meir. And this is exactly seven lines from the, from the end, from the bottom. Habayis Meir, the highest is Meir, but Smith Meir. The house is shining. The house is not shining. The house is reflecting this light, and you can see the walls of the house. And because you can see the walls of the house, you see the house. Clearly, the Rabbi is speaking about something that we that is totally novel to us. The meaning of the word Abayis Meir is that when you are in a house and the house is illuminating by a, by a candle, the bias is made by says something to you that you would not that you would not have if not for the light. Like I said the other day. The house is made of, of, of physical walls. You can go around and touch the walls, and every crack and crevice and every turn and every so, so it's a bump in the wall. This will not give you a sense of what a house is. Even though you will, you will know everything about it. Because a house is not the structure with which it is represented. A house, in real terms, it's a divine presence. The house affects a person much more deeply than protecting him from the from the elements, from the rain and shine and, 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 and the kill cold and heat. It encompasses the person. And as we explained many times before. The human being is unique in the entire creation. Please if I lose you, please tell me. So I, there's no point of the human being is unique in the entire creation. Not only because he's smart and he knows not to walk into into a wall, but because his perception of the creation, perception of himself in the world, is totally different. To the extent that he was given the right to own and and build the world. No creature in the world can claim ownership of one inch of our land. Only the human being. The human being actually can own, can own a part of the land. And this ownership gives him the right to build a house, and no one is allowed to, to usurp that, 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 that position. What's behind this ownership 
principle. Again, if you don't, if, if you, I lose you, please tell me. The world is a creation. The world did not make itself. It's a divine creation. The creator owns the world because he created it. The creator gave the human being the, his own right to the world. So the human being can own because he, it is created only. It's, 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 an, it's an illusion and it's a reflection of the ownership of the world by the creator himself. This is what the Pesach says, Purur hu umilos ha'orz v'chiv shua. When the Odom was created, Hashem told him, keep shua, subdue it, capture it, claim it to yourself. This is what you're here for. This keep shua means this is a right that was given to him by the Creator himself. We are losing sight of this because to us ownership is 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 just is just in, in, in denying an, another person. In other words, it's just competition without being among people. It's a very short short sighted uh, view. Ownership is not just claiming me versus you. Ownership is a real ownership all the way all the way to the statement of the Creator Himself. This is ownership. Ownership is transmitted from generation to generation. It's not owned by one person, it's owned. As the Abish had designed, this is his, this is his. For all time. Only the Abish can withdraw ownership. Time and and change of change of venue, change of generation does not affect it. Ownership is a divine statement that this is yours, not your statement, because you you made you, you made a kenyan. Yes, the kenyan makes it, but what's given to you is a completely different, completely different uh, level of ownership. This is called Me'en HaMoyev. The human being is his presence in the world is Me'en, is something of akin to the Creator Himself. And this is the chart of the word Ho'oyer Meir. The Ho'oyer is Meir because it is Me'en Ha'moyer. Just as the Mo'ir is telling you a truth that, a reality that is, that is obscured from your physical eye. It's telling you a reality to that it knows about. This is not something that you detect by physical eye or by touch. In fact, this is not a world level reality. In the world, you cannot explain how you can own something indefinitely. Is it, is it clear how this is for a nasheba? Yes. What is it in this oil that makes it that makes you able to own with it? In the Shefa, what is it in the Shefa? What makes me understand this thing? I, I know exactly what it is. What's a substance in this oil that makes it that makes it mine? 
Right. So, so for all the ways that ownership becomes a worldly phenomenon with deeds and mortgages, etc., that doesn't indicate Shefa, where the human being now takes ownership of this you concept. We, we just said, no, it's not. Of course but, not. But at the same time, he seems to kind of run with the ball. He seems to get, be granted this. No, that's only, saying, that's only saying this. Who, who owns it? That's all. That's all that this that uh, document says. Uh, Masha Enken by real Shefa, the Mashpia gives a concept, say, to right. the the Macabre, and then and then it's what? Then it's it's breaks away and becomes his entirely. That's right. He, he, develop, he can develop it on his own. Much more independently. Completely independently. Completely independently, but the ownership never becomes independent. That's it's right. always God signed signed the deed. Exactly right. That does not sign the thing. God gives you the ability to sign the, sign the deed, but the signing of the deed is within within the the the, the reality, the divine the reality. Okay. Lochein ha'ir meyer defot. Let's translate the words again. Lochein ha'ir meyer. The oir is meyer. The oir is bring out. Meyer means it brings out. A deeper content that meets than than meets the eye. This is what we pointed out many many times. I'm just to repeat it. When the Rebbe created the earth, created our light. The first day of creation, by Yemen, Kimi, he oir, by he oir. So the question is, why did Rebbe have to create oir? All he has to do is make a fire and you have oir. And the other said, it was a special creation, by he oir. And then after that creation, the Rebbe says, by Yara, Likim, is oir, kitoiv. What, what, what did he see? To come straight and briefly, oil is key because it gives the world a completely different dimension of reality. With oil, you don't see the same world that you had in the darkness. And to demonstrate that, if you're in a dark room and you go around and you feel the walls, will it give you the sense of what there is? But it is when you see it? Absolutely not. The oil is behiri, the oil tells you the truth about things. Not the mitzvahs, but where it comes from. What what is its true? What is its basis? Something that you cannot translate in, in, in Gashmias. In Gashmias there's no way to explain how you own a piece of land. He's saying that oil is not is above create is above world. But on the other hand, he said just said that oil is a bria, is a creation. Well, answer, you answer the question, please. Oil is a, a, cre- a bria in the creation, addition to the creation. After the creation was created, the creation was created in the dark. But you make him here oil. It's a separate creation. Is bringing godliness into the world. If it were part of the creation, the body had to be created. It's a finish in the title. The Choyshecha plays him. This is when the creation, that the creation, Choyshecha plays him. But he will keep here, that's a new addition into the, a, 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 a new introduction into the creation, which is not the creation. But he's, in, um, but he's saying, Hashem create a creation. It, it's, it's still a creation. It's still not above what it's, if it's creation. It is. This is what Oymerma is bringing himself into the creation. It's not a created entity. It's a high level of creation. Yeah, it's not creation. It is saying. Just as. Okay, I hope I'm not confusing. There's a physical piece of land. On this piece of land, there is a physical house. 
This house is owned by a human being. This ownership puts the house in a different category than the land prior to ownership. You understand that? What is that category? Became more human. Uh, like we said the other day, and we had the whole controversy about it. You build a house on Earth or you build a house on Mars? Is it similar? It's a different world. Why not? The structure is the same. Because a house is not a structure. The house is made, the Rebbe says. It tells you something about the, the divine truth in the world. That's what a house is. The oil is mayor. When? Because? Because it has oil. It has, it has the, the solar reality to it. Mm. The solar reality is the source of light. It is not the, 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 the haora. It is saying that, yes, there is such thing that the, uh, the world was dark, but the Rebbe created light, which is a completely different, different reality than, than the world itself. This creation is a higher reality. Than That's right. Yeah. That's right. Just as the human being, the the animal, are made of the same stuff. Mm. You can train an animal for a hundred years. It's never going to get the human insight. No, no way. The darkness is part of the world. Isn't it? There was a world, and, and darkness and world go together. Just a, a, a world, you know, by touch, not by sight, not by light. No, he does say it was dark before. He said it was dark. He said it wasn't created. It wasn't created. He doesn't say it was created, right? It's part of the creation of the world. All right, so now, again, we are trying to understand the Milo of Oyer Shehu Me'ein HaMoyer. It is of the Moyer reality. Therefore, what Oyer is telling you is not what you see superficially because the, the Oyer is deflected from the wall. It tells you what this whole thing is about. It tells you, it, it tells you what, how the Moyer looks at it. Not how the air reveals it to you. Oy may not oy. And this is the, a, a special mile in oy. Shu may not oy. And this is a mile that the chef you cannot have. I mean, we try to give the example that, you know, you got all uh, of philosophy. There is no way you can give in chef the seichel as you yourself see it. And this is a special mile in oil Gabi Shefa, Shuhaimin Amin Hamoyer. And here is the so the Klotz Kasha, along with the answer. Shefa is a substance. We can understand how how this substance continues to exist. Right now it was made on it and there is something there. Oil is 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 a is a haora. There's no substance to it. How is the oil? How does the oil continue to be? And the answer is the oil continues to be because because of the moir moir presence. Because of the presence of the moir itself. Yes, 
with Maori, yeah, the creator and Maori. That's right. That's right. Like I said, you can own a piece of the world, right? How can you own it? Because the Abish has said you can own it, and the Abish has maintains that right way for you. It cannot be translated in worldly terms. Like I said the other day, he said, he said in, in, in Aseris Adibris, this is, this is super well. In that Aseris Adibris, he's like sick, he's like sick. How does that, how does that fit? The answer is, the signature of the signet is dependent on the Hashem This is what gives it reality. If the world did not have that on the Hashem then the signet, the did not, would not exist. This is the oil, like to say, the signet from the world. Yeah, that's right. Mena Moir. It's not far. Why is Lysigny 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 Because Lysigny Lysigny says, it's a piece of land over here. Why can't I own it? I'll take you out and move you out and sit down there. If I do that, I can do that 100% of the times. It will never go to transfer ownership. Because your ownership of this is, is what the Rebbe gave you. My ownership is, is, a, is a subset and it's totally meaningless. How do you fit the fact that some human beings, an army goes into a country and takes possession and kills the people and takes possession of the land? That's right. So the Torah says that national is a national right, which is much more than individual right. War, so to speak, is a legal way of transfer ownership. Look at the Shulchan How you explain that is a separate opinion, but that's the halacha. He didn't possess of Israel to war. 